What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to my account in Domination Game Mode with a Vortex Spectre and a few other things as well. And I want to use this opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen, to make one thing perfectly clear, okay? It has something to do with me, an enemy leech, his leech ability, and my own team, okay? You probably already have an idea of what this could be that I'm trying to tell you here. Let's just wait for the situation to appear uh, before we get into this, okay? From once in a while, I also enjoy playing Domination a bit because, you know, uh, it doesn't allow the enemy to spawn right in front of me with their Aochun immediately fly up, come to me and kill me without doing anything very importantly right to do this, you know? Uh, it's basically just spawning their Aochun ability, kill the money. That's uh, basically what happens very often in Beacon Rush when the enemy has a team be a beacon in front of me. Now, when I play the Vortex Spectre, sometimes it's a bit fun to jump into domination where, you know, uh, the enemy cannot spawn right in front of me and I have more time to react to enemy attacks. And here it comes. You see down there? That's Hamul. Hello, Hamul. Um, it's good that you leech me now, and uh, Hamul hasn't really been attacked very hard before, but now that he leeches me, someone of my team thinks, hey, wouldn't that be a wonderful opportunity to, to run in and scourge the living heck out of this guy, and um, yeah, just bring my own robot down to like health HP. So um, yeah, from all the moments he could have chosen to attack Hamul, he chose to attack him after he activated the skirt, the leech ability. No, you couldn't have waited for him to run out the leech ability and then attack him. No, that was the moment you chose to engage. So I've just lost 50% of health on my Spectre robot uh, for no reason, all right? So let's do some math, okay? Because I know math, not everyone's strength, but, um, not mine, certainly, but uh, that part I get right, okay? So, here it comes. Math time, baby. The enemy has 90% resistance, and he throws back 30% of damage to your team. That means when a leech robot leeches, and you have no titan with resistance break, and you fire at that leech, that means you do three times as much damage to your team compared to the enemy team. That's why people normally stop to fire at leeches when they leech. Would you fire at a leech who is leeching you? No, you wouldn't, because it is stupid, okay? You do more damage to yourself than you do damage to the enemy. So why are you leeching at someone when he's leeching another one of your teammates? Because it's not you who's taking the damage? Is that really it? I mean, come on, guys. Let's just get this straight for finally, okay? If the enemy leech robot leeches someone, it doesn't matter whom he leeches. You are not going to fire. Because someone is going to suffer. Unless maybe it's free for all and you don't care that you're giving that leech robot a free kill in the meantime. That would be a different scenario, but if it's a team-based game mode and the enemy leech is leeching, someone is going to suffer that damage, okay? And it's more damage than yet what you can do to the leech. It's a no-brainer, just not fire. Simple as that. How easy can, can I mean, how more, how much more easy can we make this? All right, so let's fire at that. Ares, bum bum bum. Very little damage taken. Uh, this is, by the way, not the only situation where this happens. I think I remember there is another situation with a leech robot in this video coming up. I'm not 100% sure, but I think, I think there was another situation coming up. And I just thought, hey, maybe it's time to say this, despite, well, we've said it a few times already. But maybe I haven't really devoted an entire video to this topic, okay? So, maybe you've been victim to this again. Oh, by the way, I'm getting leeched! All right, I've already lost a bit of damage, but that was my own fault this time uh, because I fired at the leech and then he activated the leech ability. All right, so in this situation, you know, that can happen, right? He's not leeching yet. You fire, then he leeches, and then the rocket lands and you take damage. Well, in this situation, no one's fault. It's just 
Uh, you, you didn't know he was gonna activate it just then, right? Could have been that he didn't. Um, but there's another situation coming up, I think, where it happens again. And, uh, if you have been falling victim to this attack once in a while, <laughs> and you enjoy that I finally make this perfectly clear for everyone, look, there it is, I'm getting leeched now. I'm getting leeched. I'm getting leeched, and everyone is firing at this guy. It's like, there is even another dude next to him that they, they could have fired instead. But no, no, we take the guy who's, you know, beaming the leech stuff. <laughs> I've lost my entire specter to leech attacks. I, I have never really been attacked directly by anyone. I've lost that entire specter to leech attacks, and 80% of that to friendly fire, basically. All right? Um, so yeah, again, if you have been victim to this and you like that I finally made this clear, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. <laughs> God, dude, this is just, it's so simple. If it beams, you don't hit it, okay? If it has a violet uh, leech beam, you just don't go for it. You wait for it to be over and then you come in. So there is an Aochun, he just flew, right? He just had his stealth ability. He's not going to have it any time soon. I'm meanwhile getting attacked by some Gecko and Trebuchet Natasha or something. Uh, and now another leech ro uh, another thing is spawning in, uh, sadly. A fresh um, Aochun in front of me and even a Titan is coming in. Ah, that's too much. Okay, I can't handle that many enemies around me. Four enemies are currently trying to get me down. I did get the Lancelot up there or worked it down, uh, but that was it. <laughs> and I'm not sure if there will be even more situations. I think there is another match coming up in this video where we have this again. Uh, and I think there's also a leech ability coming again. Huh. But yeah, so the title of this video is probably going to be somewhere around the lines like don't fire at a leeching leech or something, okay? <laughs> Just to make this clear. Man, it's been like I like I, I like my vortex specter, and if I lose it this way, well, come on, dude! I wanted to have some fun with that Natasha of yours now, and he kills himself with a hundred percent HP. Um, but yeah, so losing that specter this way is pretty pretty sad. <laughs> oh man! Um, all right, so let's splash some uh, rockets in there, and winner wins. <laughs> That's a cool name. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, choose the other direction. Fire a couple of shots at that Titan. And up. Uh, winner wins. Just stealth jumped over onto our beacon, it seems. So, yeah. Let's come in. And boom, boom, boom. There goes the Spectre. The storms are still relatively decent, right? They still do some good damage. Alright. Let's activate that shield here. My weapons are empty, and it takes forever to get through this guy's shield. I could run phase shift now, but the match is going to end anyway, so why would I waste 40 power cells for absolutely no benefit whatsoever? Instead, I'm just going to take some damage, and uh, and that is the first match. Now, we're going to jump into the next match immediately, uh, and uh, that will be fun. Woo! Okay, jumping up here, and... There are two robots coming to the right. By the way, this is post-commentary, right? I've played this match yesterday, cut this together, and now I'm just adding the commentary to it. That's why my hands are free, <laughs> in case you're wondering how this magic is happening. Well, not so much magic. It's just pre preparation, rather. All right, so we're walking through uh, here on the roof on uh, Carrier. Nope, Dreadnought is the map. Dreadnought. One, two, three, four. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, he just teleported back, it seems. We hit him a little bit, not that much. But there's someone there. Who is this? Alright, fire, fire. Ah, oh, uh, he's out of range. I can't fire anymore. Alright, and fire, 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 fire. And boom, boom, boom. No damage, sadly, because these phantoms are very fast. They're very fast running, and... Yeah, it's not as easy to get these things down. But you know what? Let's attack that Lee, that that's um, Ares right there. You see the Ares in the distance? Uh, he's going for our beacon right now. 
And it is, again, domination. So even if he does capture it, he can't spawn on it, all right? Let's get this guy first. Boom, boom. All right. Lock down and hit. I'm not sure what it is that I'm hitting down there, but he's taken a lot of damage. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's hit him again. Whoop, and boom. Nice. Down to last stand. Now he's flying. It's an Aochun. Aha. Okay. And to the right, we have still... Uh, the uh, Ares. So I'm in a bit of a spot here that I don't like. But now that this guy... Let's make him use his shield, maybe. See, it worked. Oh, man, it worked so perfectly. I sent one Vortex to the Ares. That will trigger his brain to say, Ah, oh, I need my shield. Pfft. Shield activated. In the meantime, I'm just gonna finish that uh, Aochun so he doesn't get another ability. Then I walk into safety real quick. And, uh, and after the shield runs out from this guy, I'm sending one vort Vortex with lockdown ammo and three Vortex afterwards. But he had face shift. Come on, Kang! I just got you so well, man. Everything worked fine. Why did you have to destroy this part of the video? Anyways, four more Vortex. ka -ching! There goes the Ares. So, finally gotten Kang down. But Kang feels like that was not fair. Kang feels like we need to do this again. There is still some leftover bills that we have to be paid. He sends Vortex, I send Vortex, I stealth jump, he lands. Vortex hits him in the face perfectly as he lands, which means he takes the full perfect 100% stationary damage from, from the Vortex. Boom, another one killed. And I think now Kang is like, okay, let's let's leave it as, as that. It's, it's okay. Let's go for other targets. And uh, in the meantime, I'm walking down here. One rocket with lockdown and three war rockets afterwards. Boom. Wow. Is that a Mark II 12 uh, golem right there? Did you see that? This golem right there, he just takes like no damage. Boom, boom, boom. This guy is so tanky. What's going on with this golem? Since when is the golem so powerful? Let's first take down the Aochun before he gets another flight. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Vortex Spectre is just my thing, dude. I just love it. Lockdown ammo and tuck, tuck, tuck. And that's it for you, man. Boom. I'm running the... Vo I like the combination with lockdown ammo, too, on this. I mean, it's... Um, of course, it's not... You know, Quantum Radar... Would, very often, Quantum Radar would be more useful, right? And usually, Phase Shift is even more useful because you just are invincible. But I like this, you know me, I'm a troll, right? I'm a trolling player, I love to troll people. And the way I can troll best is if I use lockdown ammo. And I was like, please don't have quantum radar, please don't have quantum radar. <laughs> and of course he has quantum radar. Um, so the see, quantum radar usually a little bit more useful, but um, I like to troll. And that's why having the lockdown ammo with the vortex combo Oh, that's good. That is trolling. T that's trolling goodness right there. Okay, what do we have here? We have uh, two Ares. I'm having to fight two Ares at the same time. That will be a bit tricky. Let's let's make this guy use his shield. All right, that worked. He instantly locked me, or he would have locked me if I hadn't had anti-control. Let's make the other guy use his shield. Oh, he doesn't have the shield, so let's kill him. Zip! There goes the first one. And zip! There goes the second one. Nice. And oh, there's a Leo. Oh, look at that lock on time. Look at that. Okay. I have him locked. I press the button again by accident. So, uh, whoops. And he gives me a target out of my weapons range. And I have to lock on completely again from uh, standing right in front of him. All right. If at least you could fire empty your weapon and reload in the meantime, then it wouldn't be so bad. So that Leo with his cannon and his mullets is not really going to be a big threat. Um, not against the short-range brawler setup that we're running right now. That makes it very hard for him to hit us. And there is the uh, Flying Ao Ming Titan up in the air. Let's show him something. Let's show him so Oh, another Leo. What's with the Leos now? I'm seeing more Leos than I ever did. Ever since iOS and Android were thrown together, I see more Leos. Why? You know? Now we have more players available to form matches with. More high-level players. 
So lower level players should not be forced to play in high level matches as much anymore. But still, I seem to see more Leos after uh, the fusion of uh, Android and iOS than I did be see before. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Maybe the iOS players are all newbies and they all only run around with Leos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. I know that the iOS players are not newbies, but uh, <laughs> it's just insane that we have some more Leos now than we had before. That's just, that's just weird. <laughs> uh oh, I think I just triggered a whole lot of iOS iOSlers over there. No, don't kill me, please, guys. Um, it was just a joke. You know I'm a troll, right? So, uh, we're firing at that uh, thing down there at the Ao Ming. But that guy, with that freaking guy with his Molots over in the distance. I hate this Molot Fenrir right there. Come on, dude. Do you really have nothing else to shoot at? No, I don't think he has. I'm, I'm offering myself well as a target. Alright, here we go. We have already lost the Scourge, but I think we can still deal some decent damage. This is more damage output than most of my set setups have. Um... The uh, Scourge and Sp Calamity is a, is a really good damage dealer. And the other alternatives I have... This is my own Android account right here. I'm not running the Battle Rack account with maximum this and that and here and super meta. I'm running my own account where I chose pers... Uh, pers um, blah, blah, blah. I purposely chose robots that are not meta. I don't have a ch an Aochun. I have no Ares. I have no uh, Leech Robot. None of the top one. Of, of these packs. I have none of those. I went for the second one. I have an Aoguang, you know, the less powerful dragon. I have the Nemesis, the less powerful Pantheon robot. And then I have uh, a Spectre with Vortex rather than a Leech or stuff like that, you know? I, I didn't want to run and get the meta stuff that everyone runs. I wanted to keep it fun and with variety. And that's why I chose robots that are, you know, not necessarily known for their meta dominance, right? but are fun to play. And that's, I guess, in a game, that's more important than anything, in my opinion, right? Unless you play leagues or clan matches or so, maybe, where you need the most powerful stuff, but I don't need the most powerful, I just want the most fun out of the deal, right? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys are awesome as always. Money signing off. Bye-bye. And stop firing at leeches when they're leeching someone. Unless it's free for all. Then you can fire, but even then, you're probably still helping the leech more than you're helping yourself. There is one exception, however, when a leech robot has very... is shortly before his last stand, right? Or the leech robot is almost dead. Then you can kill it, right? Then it's useful to just finish these few percentages and kill him before uh, he, he does too much damage to your team in the meantime, right? So there is this margin of, uh, of, of thing where you can fire at it when it's shortly before activating his last stand or shortly before killing him. That's when you can take him down. Uh, but don't do it when there's no hope of getting his last stand activated or killing him. Because he, like in this case, too much health. Way too much health to use, um, you know, to use this in any useful way. Uh, this damage that you're doing. It's like, I'm looking at him like, really? Seriously, man? That's when you attack? Really? It was really just, that I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and of course, if you're running something that has resistance breaker, like Titan weapons when they are leveled, when they break resistance or ignore it, well, then you can obviously fire at the leech too, because that's going to be more useful than not firing at him. But yeah, so uh, thanks, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.